Okay, this is the Balikli Gul statue. This was found in the oldest part of Shanlurfa, the, the very city that we're in now, near the Pools of Abraham. Um, it was found when they were doing some uh, urban development and it is unquestionably an early Neolithic life-size statue. Uh, one with a, a very large head, you have obsidian pieces for eyes, you have the nose, no apparent mouth, but the head is very, very well formed. And around the neck you have this, these necklaces, these two necklaces that you can see the Vs. The Vs are, are pulling down, suggesting there's some kind of pendant on it that's being pulled down by gravity. Like an emblem of office that a mayor would wear, for instance. You have the, his two arms coming down, right the way down to the area of the genitals, and they may even be exposing the, the genitalia. In fact, that might be what, what is being shown here. Um, and it's, it's on a, on, um, uh, a sort of um, a, a point which would be stuck in the ground. But I think that when, if, if this is meant to be a figure, the figure thems themselves would have probably been a height of around six and a half feet. Um, because if you take the, the legs into consideration, this was a very large figure and, and the, the head seems to show that. Uh, he dates to around 9000 BC. Further excavations were done at the site, um, I believe in the early 1990s, and they discovered activity of a settlement that was contemporary with that of Gobekli Tepe. And um, so this is unquestionably part of the same culture, which raises the question of why did they put a head on this with a nice face, whereas the T-shapes at Gobekli have no faces at all and they're depicted in a very abstract manner and the fact is that I think that this character represents somebody who is alive, somebody who is in the, the physical, the, the, the mundane world, whereas the teeth shapes at Gobekli Tepe represent something that's liminal, something that's supernatural, something that's a part of an otherworldly environment. To me, he looks just like what we saw in Costa Rica. He clearly has this sort of pale face. He had his, the hands joining uh, in the navel area, and he's got this sort of gaze out into the wilderness. And just the way it looks, you can, you can see similarities straight away with Tiwanaku in Bolivia, uh, and some of the statues there. Also, some of the statues in different parts of Peru. Um, so again, does this suggest that Gebekli Tepe and this area of Turkey was connected with Peru and Bolivia going back many thousands of years and does it question the dating and push the dates back of Tiwanaku and Peru and Bolivia as well uh, because if this is the case uh, if this is the smoking gun of that particular era then we have to question the dating for all sites in different parts of the world it's a stone idol uh, that was found actually in Shanlurfa, very close to the Pools of Abraham uh, in the, I think it was the, the beginning of the 1990s. And it was found during urban development and they found it, they got it out and they did excavations at the spot and they found that there was a settlement here that went back in age to around 9000 BC and it's this reason why the guides will tell you that Earth has a history going back to 9000 BC because of this early settlement um, and the fact it's so close to the Pools of Abraham and the birthplace of Abraham does definitely suggest that there would have been a continuity going from this early settlement right the way through to the age of Abraham, let's call it that, then through to modern Shanglurfa. Um, now, the actual idol itself is very, very important because firstly, it's got a head and a face. Now you might think, oh well, so what? But what this proves is that the culture who were responsible for Gobekli Tepe knew how to do faces if they wanted. But for some reason, he hasn't got a mouth, uh, which presumably is purposeful. 
His eyes are made of the black volcanic glass known as obsidian, which was highly prized. Um, and what's interesting is that obsidian eyes were also used in the statues on Easter Island, the Moai statues that they used, um, uh, bless you, um, uh, oh, Gesundheit, <coughs> Salute. Uh, and so, you know, this is a, a, an interesting thing. Why would you create these people with these black eyes? I mean, obviously, presumably, it represents the, the iris. But um, that's that. Obviously, it's life size. Around its neck, you have these, these, these twin bands that almost certainly are meant to represent some kind of emblems of office that, you know, he's wearing some kind of thing around his neck that gravity is pulling it down. Either that or it's some kind of garment.